Alright, so when it's done rebooting, your phone should look something like this. And what you can do is just walk through the steps, you know, touch to Android. And I'm gonna skip everything. I'm gonna say next, next, could care less about the time. And then, um, pretty much you can just set up your phone using this custom ROM. And what you're gonna be prompted is which home launcher you wanna use. You can change this at any time. Um, for me, I'm just going to check use by default for this action so this thing doesn't pop up every time I press the home button. So personally, I like ADW Launcher, um, but Launcher Pro works well, I'm sure. Alright, so here it is. Here's your customized phone. And what you can do now is, well, first of all, you're going to notice that you'll have your Google Apps. However, one of them is missing. Actually, a lot of them are missing, but the main one is the market. The market is not exactly here. So what you're going to do is go to the file manager on this phone. And then navigate again to where you downloaded the APK, the market APK that we found earlier. Um, I have it in the APK folder, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to select the market, Android market APK. Now when you first um, try and install it, you're going to come up with a warning or actually an error message that says like, for your security, your phone is set to block installation of applications not obtained from the Android market. So what we're going to do is go to settings and then select unknown sources. That's the first, op first option and we're going to select yes and say OK. And then for development, I just make sure these are on, they don't matter. but. Um, it'll, it'll like matter later on when you're trying to do other things. Just good to have that selected. So once those things are selected, we're going to select Android Market again and then say OK and then say Install. And then it should install and then you're done. You're good. Now you have your market back again. And then from the Android Market, you can install um, it'll prompt you if you want to install this Google app, this Google app. It'll have a whole list of Google apps that um, it'll like ask you you want to install it. And then you can just install as many as you wish. And you have all your Google apps back. So I'm a little too lazy to set up Wi-Fi in order to do that right now. So let me just walk you through the different things that you can do with this custom ROM. So first of all, on the launcher, um, there's something called a theme chooser. And right now there are only three themes, so I'm pretty sure you can download more. Um, but pretty much what you can do is like scan your whole entire phone. My favorite one is the Android 3.0, the Honeybread one, Honeycomb. So I'm going to select Apply. Say switching to Honeybread. And your phone looks like the one that we started, that I started out with earlier. This one. It's a really cool theme. And even cooler is when we go to the settings. Let's go to the settings app on the bottom over here. We're going to go down to Cyanogen Mod settings. And what you can do is from like applications, you can allow application moving to your external SD card, storage, and display. You can, well, these don't really make a difference, but um, I think they're referring to the Nexus S1 where like you have a screen animation when you turn it on and off. But, anyways, um, you have that. You have um, you have the input trackball wake. I usually have that on, and then your quick keys, and you can select which application you want for that. That's standard. For an interface, you can have a notification power widget, and then change the indicator color. I'm gonna have it to that. You can also add widget buttons. Although for me they weren't working, we'll have to. It's probably a bug, but anyways. Besides that, you have status bar tweaks, like the battery percentage up here just popped up, and you have the overscrolling effect. There's an edge glow, or the one I like is the bounce, and then you can select the the overshoot overscrolling weight. So. What it means by bounce is that if I scroll up like that, it bounces on the top and it glows on the bottom, which is pretty cool. And then for the lock screen, you have like the style. I like it to have the 
rotary revamped, but you can have a lens one, which kind of looks like this. So if we track ball wake, it's like a lens. And you can just scroll down like that. But I like this. You can also, um, for me, I'm going to hide that, um, the hide rotary arrows. arrows. Um, you can have a custom app starter. And pretty much the custom application I chose to be, let's just say, my phone. Or you can even do, like, any other one. Um, let's just say we want uh, the clock. Okay, so what it will do is that when you turn on the lock screen again, you see there's a new button. It's the third one. You drag it down, and you're automatically taken to your clock, which is pretty cool. And there's also, um, let's see, this is the, um, the performance settings. This is what I'm talking about, um, overclocking your phone. So usually you need, like, set CPU in order to do this, but right now you have a integrated, um, set CPU or integrated overclocking menu in the CyanogenMod settings, which is pretty convenient. So we'd go to we would go to the first option with the CPU settings and then here is what you can um, select for your minimum CPU frequency I'm gonna boot that up from 245 to 768 from the maximum CPU frequency you can overclock all the way to about 1.5 gigahertz or 1516 megahertz and I'm going to do a safe overclock and do it at about 1209 it's plenty like this is pretty this whole entire ROM this whole entire phone is pretty um, Speedy when it comes to loading times, etc. And then I'm gonna set on boot So it'll um, keep those settings even when I re um, Restart the phone You also have your sound options and I really like this quiet hours thing so let's say um, you're at work from a certain time to a certain time, um, or for me, school. Let's say I have like 7 a.m. set, end of quiet hours, we have like 3.30. There you go, set. And then it'll pretty much like, it'll mute to everything and stuff like that. So that's pretty nifty. Basically, all you need to do to customize your phone is go to this like Cyanogen mod settings, and it's really cool that this ROM has Cyanogen. It's based on a Cyanogen mod ROM, so like you have these kind of options, and it's pretty much all you need to get yourself started in fully customizing your phone. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, and I'll catch you guys later on my next video review or tutorial. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this.